Hello. When testing your model, you may need to manipulate model variables during simulation runtime. A common example is during the testing phase of an engine control unit, ECU, where varying signals such as machine speed or machine torque throughout a test, play an important role in demonstrating performance. In addition, it is often needed to reproduce measurements from a real site in the real-time model. From 2021.4 version of the software, Typhoon Hill Control Center supports a new way to apply dynamic model stimulation for any model simulated on Hill devices. Dynamic model stimulation is a feature that lets you reproduce high-resolution time series profiles during simulation runtime for any signal of interest. In short, this feature means you can fully control your signal stimulus. It enables you to change the signal generation dataset, start the signal generator, pause the signal generator, and stop the signal generator during simulation the runtime. Here you can find a list of the new Hill API functions. You can find out more information about these functions in the Hill API documentation. To demonstrate the dynamic model stimulation functionality, let's open the dynamic model stimulation example. We will use standard driving cycles as the signal stimulation for the electric vehicle. In this example, you can choose between two driving cycles. The first is the Braunschweig City driving cycle, and the second is the EPA US 06 Supplemental Federal Test Procedure driving schedule. Now let's switch to the dynamic model stimulation example in the schematic editor. The reference speed will be the reference signal provided by the signal stimulus. In order to reproduce the time series signals, SCADA input components are used. The signal resolution is defined by the signal processing execution rate. Before we compile the model, we need to set the signal stimulus to enable in the Signal Processing Settings tab in the Model Settings. Now let's compile and load the model. In this example, we are using Hill 402. The panel initialization defines two paths to the two different drive cycles. In this case, the driving cycles are in CSV format. The load signal function can load all data file formats supported by Typhoon Hill Control Center, such as dot .csv, dot .tdms, and dot .h5. Let's run the simulation. In the group signal stimulus drive cycle, we can find a combo box for choosing the driving pattern. It is important that we match the SCADA input name with the corresponding column inside the data file. In this case it is the electric vehicle, dot, speed SCADA input with speed miles per hour column. Let's choose the driving cycle pattern. In this example we will use the EPA US 06 Supplemental Federal Test Procedure. Now we can create and prepare the stimulus. Once the object is created, the initial data needs to be loaded to the Hill device. This is done with the create and prepare signal stimulus functions. Now we can start the stimulus. In the graph we can see the reference speed from the driving cycle and the measured speed from electric vehicle. Also, there is a possibility to stop the stimulus. Again, you can find more information about these API functions in the Hill API documentation. Thank you for watching.